Hey YouTube, so ignore the uh, sound. So this is the obligatory, I don't know, chainsaw I'm doing a filing video. Uh, so, I'm not the best hand filer out, but uh, I'm 42 now. I've been into chainsaws big time for like the last 20 years. Like, I've owned a lot of chainsaws. Uh, and I hand file. Um, Over the past uh, seven years, um, because I have, I, I mean, I have some saws with a 3 8 low profile. I have 532 files for that, but for 325 and 3 8 regular chains, um, I actually use a 1364s file. These are actually the ones Steel uh, recommends for their 3 8 chains, I think. But years ago, I got a good deal on them where I bought, I think, I got like 400 of these things and I got them stupid cheap. I'm just sharpening up the Radley. Uh, I was actually looking at the chain. This is a Chinese chain, obviously, and uh, I think this is a stall. Stall? Stall? What brand chain is this? Where's the box? Where's the box? Here's the bag it came in. So yeah, genuine, uh, where are we? Stoff chain. But you know what, it's actually not bad, just the uh, grind's a little funky, so giving it a tune-up. Uh, I actually want to mount a vise on my little wood trailer for doing stuff like this, because That would be so much better. I've actually never found uh, filing a chainsaw really hard. It's For some reason I find um, filing semi-chisel hard because it just looks different. To me. Trying to maintain the factory grind with the uh, reference line on it. But yeah, so I'm going to file this. Um, I didn't get done to the Radley where I thought I would because yesterday was a day from hell. The worst day I've had with chainsaws at all. First, that the Husqvarna 266 froze up. That thing froze up hard. And um, took it apart. I'm not dealing with that till the winter. And um, But then I was dealing with this saw. I had a different cylinder to put on it uh, when I ported more. But I was taking the cylinder off using one of my um, Mastercraft uh, Allen keys here. These guys right here. Sorry for the shaky video. And then on the last head bolt, unscrewing it, the ball broke off in the head. So I kind of like just you know, put it back together. It's not too bad. Uh, I, I, I fixed the carburetor so I can adjust it, but... Still, like, I had a bad day with chainsaws yesterday. I was not too impressed. But it had to happen eventually. Yeah, these files, they're Notch brand, I think, or something like that. I don't know. They, they work out. Anyways, I think I'll let you guys go. It's just a, there's lots of videos on sharpening. Uh, like and see, like, um, where are we? So that's one I just sharpened. It's got a good hook on there now, but the uh, factory ones, the hook isn't as good. Like, to me, there should be more of the gullet here. Uh, you know, just to have a better, nicer, cleaner C. Like that. Or like that. So I'm going to finish filing this guy and then um, take the rakers down. But yeah, I gotta do the other side because that's that's a little too that's a ski slope there. 
or more like a surfing wave. Anyways, take it easy, YouTube. Bye.